This is everything we ate on our trip down to Miami. Our first stop was Planta Queen in Fort Lauderdale. Cassidy got a hand roll with watermelon. We also got some crispy rice, fried mushroom bao buns, and my absolute favorite, the bang bang broccoli. We also got the General D's cauliflower and some Dan Dan noodles. But after that, we headed over to a place that we've been before, it Leaves and Root, which is a kava bar, but they have a full vegan menu. We wanted to get a dessert, so we got a red velvet cookie sandwich. Oh, and we forgot our toothpaste, so we had to run to CVS and grab some toothpaste. And the hotel room that we stayed in was pretty nice, but overall the hotel was kind of annoying. They had a lot of rules that were kind of stupid. Like the pool closed at like 6 p.m. What the f***? And they have mandatory valet parking, and I f***ing hate valet parking. But at least our room had a good view. We decided to get brunch at La Artisan. We decided to get brunch at La Artisan, which is a fully vegan French bakery slash restaurant. I got the cinnamon roll pancakes because anytime vegan pancakes are on the menu, I basically have to get them. And Cassidy got the strawberry shortcake pancakes. Oh, and a croissant. Then we had to decide what we were gonna get from their bakery. It was hard not to choose everything, but we ended up getting a donut and a cruffin, which was filled with caramel sauce. We were absolutely amazed with the trees in this area. They were so strange. We went to the Venetian pool in Coral Gables, and this pool was probably the best pool I've ever been to. There was like this little waterfall section, and you could jump off this little rock, and then there was these caves that you could swim inside. It was very cool. For dinner, we went to vegan Cuban cuisine. We both got some Cuban sandwiches, a loaf of Cuban bread, this cream cheese stuffed pastry, a papa rayana, plantains, a vegan ham croquetta, and buttery garlic bread. Oh, and we also got some flan. Personally, I think the Cuban sandwich was my favorite thing I got here. Oh wait, maybe this pastry was my favorite thing I got. Though everything was delicious. Also, this is my first time ever trying flan, and it was actually really delicious. After this, we went to the beach and then we went back to our hotel room and ate our leftovers for the day. And then the next morning we went to the beach where I got stung by a jellyfish multiple times. And if you're watching this, Mr. Jellyfish, um, I, I forgive you, but you did sting a vegan. So that is kind of annoying because I'm on your side. After that, we went to Agokate Sanctuary of Love. Wait, Cassidy already recorded this for Instagram and I'm not the best at talking, so I'll also have her say this part. We visited Aguacate Sanctuary of Love in Miami, Florida. Not only is this a vegan restaurant, it's also an animal sanctuary. We got a vegan stuffed plantain and vegan steak sandwiches. We really enjoyed both as well as this delicious fresh coconut. And you can visit with all of their rescue animals. We got to see turkeys, goats, chickens. It was such a great time and we'll definitely be back. Good job, Cassidy. We did some other things throughout the day, but then on our way back home, we went to DNY Pizzeria in Fort Lauderdale. The owner of this place is so nice and they've got the menus marked so well. We got a Detroit style vegan pizza with vegan pepperoni. And they even gave us the cookie, which was so nice. Highly recommend this place. And that is everything we ate on our trip to Miami. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.